Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a crankshaft in SolidWorks. Uh, if you find this video helpful, uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and so just to get started, I'm going to go up to sketch. I'm going to draw a sketch on the front plane. So from there, I'm going to draw... I'm not going to go up to the rectangle. I'm going to get a line, draw a line, and then draw another line on the right-hand side slightly higher. And from there, I'm going to draw a line at an angle as well. So I'm going to start defining these lines. So what I'm going to do is this line, I'm going to make 35 mil long. I'm going to make the width 7.5 mil. Um, and then I'm going to put an, a degrees on this of 195 degrees. And then I'm going to draw an arc from the top of the uh, sketch to here and we're going to put a radius of 80 mil I'm going to click the arc that I've just drawn and this the straight line underneath it I'm going to make it tangent and then I'm going to put a height in from here to here of 30 so now this sketch is fully defined I'm going to revolve it so I'll exit that sketch go to features I'm going to revolve, and I'm going to revolve it around the, bo the bottom line to give you this disc. From there, I'm going to click on the front side of this disc, and I'm going to create a sketch, nice simple sketch with a circle on it. The diameter of that circle is going to be 60, and we're going to extrude it 20 mil. And then on the other side, I'm going to click on the flat flat surface again, go sketch. And the, from the origin, I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to make this line a construction line. So I've clicked it and I'm going to tick for construction here on the options. Um, I'm going to do that, then do a circle. So the radius of the circle is 38 mil. Sorry, the diameter of the circle is 38 mil. The height of the construction line is 40 mil, and we extrude that 20 mil as well. So go to features, extrude, and I'm going to make that 20 mil. So now I've got this shape. What I'm going to do is click on the um, the first boss extrude face and draw a sketch on that. So this sketch is for a, for a surface cut. We're going to do. So to do that, I'm going to do a circle, uh, 40 mil. Same again, 40 mil from the origin. So I'll make a construction line, 40. But I'm going to make this 50 in diameter. Make that construction line, and then. I'm going to draw two lines, make them tangent to the circle, just do some trimming, so trim my entities. So now I'm going to go to dimensions and I'm going to put a degrees in for these two lines of 35 degrees. So now it's still free and I can move these um, lines, but we want it to be bang in the middle. So what I'm going to do is draw a line from the bottom to there. I'm going to make click both lines either side and make them equal. So now I can draw a triangle like that. Or maybe not. So I'll just start, try that again. Because this is a surface, you don't have to have it fully defined, but I prefer to have it fully defined. So what I'm going to do is draw a line from the origin instead, from there to there, and from another line from the origin. From So these lines now, I'm going to make construction, tick construction, and I'm going to make equal. So now the, there's an equal distance between the origin of each line, and that fully defines it. And then hopefully I should be able to draw 
now I can draw a line from the bottom and then I'll just define that, make that 130. So now just I did that rather quick so I'll just recap. So I've drew, I've drawn two lines, did a, sorry, a 50 mil circle um, and drawn two lines made them tangent 35 degrees apart and then to define it to stop it moving the sketch I've drawn two construction lines made them equal from the origin and, um, and then just give it a height of 130 so from there instead of going to extrude boss what I'm going to do is go to surfaces extrude surface I'm going to extrude this as a surface um, 100 Oops. and tick it. So now what I'm going to do is go up to cut with surface. So I'm going to click the surface I want to cut and the direction. So I want to cut this outer shape. So if I want to cut inside, that's that's the direction you go to. So you need to make sure the arrow is pointing outside the surface. So I'll tick that. And then I'm going to go up to insert features. I'm going to go delete and delete that body. So I'm deleting the surface body because I don't need it anymore. And now we're getting, uh, believe it or not, we're, it's starting to look like a crankshaft. So what I'll, I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to Features, and I'm going to select this body in the mirror. So I'm going to go to Features, Bodies to Mirror, select the body I want to mirror, and I'll mirror it on that face. And tick it. So now, this is where SolidWorks is really good at copying bodies. So I'm going to copy this six times. So if I go to insert features and then go to move, cop move copy, I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy it six times. I'm going to do it and pull it like that to start forming the crankshaft. So I need to do that 100 mil along along the x axis. Oh no, sorry, it's 80 mil. Or oh, 90 mil even. Sorry, that's my my maths being poor. So looking at the preview there, 95 is probably the best to go with. Sorry about that. So now I've copied so I've copied that mirrored body six times. So to make sure copy's ticked and how many and I've put six iterations along the x axis. So if your axes are different, you might have to put it in a different box, uh, whichever's running parallel with your part. So I'll tick that. And now I'm, I've left these bodies separate, so if you look, I've got a folder there with solid bodies, and each body is separate. So now, I'm going to go to the same feature, insert feature, uh, move copy body, and this time, I'm going to go up to view, hide show, temporary axes. So now I've, I've got an axis going through the middle of it. I'm going to select which body I want to move, so I'm going to move this the first one. Along the around the x-axis, 180 degrees. We'll put make sure that's at not. Around the x-axis, 180 degrees, and I'm going to untick copy because it's just a try. So I'm just moving that that body, and it's a bit hard to see on the preview. So I'll just tick that. So I'm going to copy that principle again. Go insert features move I'm going to rotate this one along the x-axis I'm going to do this 300, 300 degrees Take that. so now it's starting to look more like a crunch so after the next one I'm going to do 60 degrees insert features move bodies rotate it around the x-axis 60 degrees And then I'm going to do the next one 180 and the next one 240. Leave that other one at 90, 180, and 
insert features and do that one at, around the x-axis at 204 degrees so now if the graphics preview would come up there we go sorry about that the graphics previews come up so if so now i've got you you have the main model of your crankshaft i'll just change my real grip so you can see it so um now all i'm going to do is to make it one body i'm going to select all the bodies so i keep my finger on control and select all the bodies and i'm going to go combine so i right click so if you i did that a bit quick right click combine on all the bodies and then it merges them all as one so there you have it one solid body a crankshaft i hope you found this little video helpful uh, if you have uh, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching